So we're getting there. That horrible noise in the background is right Jack. I think he's starting to live here at the garage. So the, the shelves, even though it doesn't look better, it is because I've, I've taken out crap. Everything left is some is kind of usable. I'm now just kind of hammering away at this area here. I'm kind of just going forward with it. But ultimately you end up taking stuff from one area and putting it to another, which is why we need more shelves. We've got so many brand new brake pads, so many coils and CDIs. Um, you know, we've got parts just all over the place, levers, calipers, um, and I reckon they all work. I reckon they're, they're parts I took off a bike to replace, but actually could be work, you know, could be reserviced and stuff. So uh, yeah, so carrying on, this bit is the main bit. So the whole point is to move forward and to clear. I haven't found anything particularly interesting this time. I think this might be, I don't know what that one is. Possibly a phaser, it kind of rings bells there. I think that's a cheap KSR Moto or something, um, but quite um, quite pricey if I remember rightly. But yeah, no treasure, no treasures yet. An old CD case. Now I recognize this. The uh, CDs, yeah. Um, when I was driving around Europe, I needed good CDs. Um, I feel like I'm gonna get some, uh, some judgment here. What's that notorious? Footloose, the musical. Sorry about that. Lighthouse Family. What what would be inappropriate? Nellyville, great album. The Realists, never heard of it. Smash hits, Dirty Dancing. That's not mine. That must be yours. That's yours. Dirty Dancing. You and Warren watched it, and and you both danced. Um, Two Fast and Furious soundtrack. Um, that that is so me. I must have got that. I must have been 17 or 18 when I got that. Oh, girls, not in all. That's you and Warren as well. Uh, <laughs> why have you Why have you put your CDs in my CD case, <laughs> no. Rajab? Uh, come on, mate. I don't do CDs, man. Here, say. Oh, sugar babes. Really oh, I'm worried about you, mate. Uh, Avril Lavigne. Love Avril. One of my uh, great albums. Although that's is that a single? Steps. Uh, the old days. Steps. That's yours and all. That's yours, Charlie. One love. Look. <laughs> that was last. Um, that was last Valentine's. It is Valentine's today. Huge hits. I do it like all the hit stuff, or did at least. Kiss Club Life. Spice. Oh my God. Spice. Quick switch. Any more rescue guys? You got a PS5 Oh look, that's zone. four DVD. What's that? Twelve. Are we into DVDs now? What? What is this? <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that Kaiser Chiefs? I haven't seen that. One love. Oh God. Guys, the Chiefs, great album that. Why you got Peppa Pig? Avril Lavigne, Now Dance. Why have you got what? Peppa Pig. I don't know what that is. I actually <laughs> don't know. You never know. I don't know what a lot of these are. Well, that, you, see these you just learned a lot about Rab Jab and Warren. The next day. Welcome back, everyone. Um, I'm really glad some of you enjoyed the last uh, video on the garage clearing. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. I just you know, I get it comes up a lot. Clear your garage, so I am doing it. I got some goodies. I saw these in Wilkinson's just before Christmas. Looks looks handy enough. It's cheap crap plastic, but it will do a basic job. Two nice size shelves, as I said, to put more crap on up over at the back. Some more magnet tool holders, because actually, what happens is, what I kind of need is is lots of sets of you know, sets of, so a full set of, of spanners here, full set of stuff there. Um, and then uh, this stuff is actually the stuff to do the CB frame. Um, now, if I happen to have that stuff Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week, it would have been perfect weather. The, the weather is stunning today, guys. This is such a beautiful day. You can feel the sun, it's fairly warm. Um, it would have been perfect to have done it because it did, you know, we're warm enough for that to be okay. However, tomorrow we've got rain coming. I, I think it's raining now for the rest of the week. If I happen to get one day similar to this, then I will be doing this. I will be doing what I think I'll be doing, um, which, which is dropping the engine out, I hope, I think, and um, covering up as much as I can wheels. And it needs to be on its wheels is, is the truth. It needs to be rolling. So um, covering up the wheels, uh, scuffing, 
uh, satin black clear coat get it all done in one day so that it's tacky so I can roll it back in and it dries over the next couple of days after that that's kind of what I need uh, with the with the engine out it'll be much easier stuff like the seat I can take off that's quick and easy um, the shocks I can tape up or um, or pop one side off while I'm doing this side and then switch them over vice versa stuff like that but ultimately the wheels need to stay on um, I also I'm also going to recoat the down pipes and uh, put some lacquer on them because there's no lacquer on these now don't get me wrong they seem fine but I would feel better if they had some lacquer on them uh, I'm not keen on this chrome here but uh, I think I'm just going to polish it um, so yeah if we get one or two more warm days now um, I will do the frame as best as I can to be able to move on with this bike ready for the uh, summer for myself of course uh, so right all the bikes out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get some fuel because I want some in the WK and I want some in the uh, generator because I'm gonna have to use a plug-in drill today my, my drills run out of battery it's actually playing up the um, the other drill what, what make is it Stanley um, it just it's start, it's brushless so I thought it might need new brushes but it's brushless but it's starting to play up so I, I think I need a new set I might have to switch to Ryobi at some point but um but funds aren't great at the moment so uh let's get all the bikes out like last time let's get stuff out chairs and all, anything that can anything here that can come out let's get it out let's get storage in at the back as in them two shelves that's going to be helpful and then we'll go from there as to what's next so, um, once again, how handy these LED lights are. They're just a glue-on strip attached to a cheap old busted battery. Um, they make such a difference. I had a second strip somewhere. If I find them, I'll put them up. Although, you then have to run a wire all the way around. Um, I think one mm -hmm. shelf here kind of just makes sense. Uh, I mean, I was thinking one there. I still think one there, I'll take these bags down, uh, this crap down, but I think one there, and I can always, they can either go on the floor or hang up somewhere else, uh, but it kind of makes sense to have it all, one there, one in the corner there, and then we're okay, now I'm, the, where can I put the storage things, probably, I don't want them too close to bikes, I might have to put one here and basically just set it up a set, you know, pliers, a set of, of spanners. Just set it up and leave it so that, you know, there's something always there. And then the second one can possibly go here. But again, you've got to be careful of the garage door. So I'll think about that. But for now, let's get at least the shelf up. For anyone curious about these, these are what keep the water out of a kayak when you're in there. They're called decks. So they are not skirts. Just, um... Just, you know, not that it would matter, you, you can wear a skirt, but um, they're not my skirts, they're decks. I got the big drill bit, the hat and garden one. So that is rock solid. At first, I have to admit, I used the wrong. They were too small. Um, what are they called? Wall plugs. So I put in the right ones and it's solid. You might think that I've left it too shallow, that there's not enough space there. And you'd be right. <laughs> um, I mean, it's for, uh, look, all of these old leads and stuff, some brake pads. I've got a bunch 
bunch of brake pads up here driving me nuts. There's just five, six, seven, eight sets that I'm gonna have to try and use at some point. Well, you know, do you know what? It's always handy to be able to check on your shelf though. You'll get a bike come through and you'll think, um, I'll check anyway. And, uh, you know, look, brake pads, brake pads. Loads of them. They're all brand new. They're all packeted. What I would have done was bought them in the past and they not fit or something. Uh, what I should have done was logged what they were for. But most of them have numbers on, so that's not a huge issue. Um, next shelf here, but lower. And then we'll put some of the heavier items on. Old calipers and stuff like that. If I'm not throwing them, I need to get better at throwing them. That's, uh, that's the kind of key to all of this. Um, what I want to do is have some space for bits that, when it comes to it down here, you know, I can put them somewhere, and it might be on that shelf there. Or, you know, things like levers. We've got all these levers. I think I'm going to use levers up on this shelf. So we've got brake wires, cables, brake pads, and levers. Um, let me do a bit of that. Now, you might be thinking, can't go wrong on this one loads of space but actually I couldn't fit it in I've had to move this whole thing over a little bit um, I'm terrible at DIY but uh, there is a nice space there to put more stuff on so that's good um, I think really handy that little shelf up there and this shelf here I think you know extremely handy so uh, good I'm glad probably gonna put one of them wall units down there because it's not really much space for it to go and maybe even one down here and then I've got a couple more of the magnet holders probably down there or something maybe one up there I'm not I'm not quite sure yet but it's just to tuck things away at this stage um, cool all right it's a uh, it's hammer away so I didn't film this one because no point but so handy so handy um, the boxes, I mean like I've got up there, but they they become a dumping ground. Um, it just kind of does the job actually. Actually, you know, really one, two, three, four of them would be better than that to an extent. But ultimately you end up with all of this crap that you're storing because, you know, you use it or whatever. But, um, yeah, so uh, handy. But at least now there's options, you see, when, when I'm clearing this out a bit, which I am now, you know, we've got spaces for things. Anything kind of uh, uh, bike-wise, part-wise can go up here. Um, I think that's kind of functional, things that I'm going to use more, I think. Although, with John's bike here, yeah, it's fine, I can lean over. And then this has to be a bit of a dumping ground, I think. It just has to be that kind of area. But that needs to be more functional, so I'm going to go through it, chuck anything I can chuck, and uh, put anything away I can. Anything I don't use, I bought this years back, look at it. It's basically a socket that fits every size, but it's so big, it, I've never really used it. Um, I, I can never see it, you know, really being used. I'm going to chuck that, because it's taking up space. Uh, stuff like that. This one's broke. Now these are um, Halfords Advanced, so they you can actually swap them out if you keep all of your broken bits. At some point you can send them all back and they will send you new ones. Uh, cool, let's keep going. So even though this looks nuts, that that's one of the best things I've bought, that is. It's so handy. Bits, bits torque and allen uh ratchet sets uh imperial sizes uh a full set or pretty much a full set of halford's advanced spanners um i mean because this even this annoys me you see what i would love is like a big snap on not not branded i don't care if it's branded but a big set where you put everything in its spot you see um but saying that like in, if you look at this a lot of this is it's silly really really I want to pull out everything you know all the bits and stuff and um, and chuck literally sc scrape it all up and get rid of it you know that's that should be the aim really uh, I think I'm gonna actually kind of do that and start fresh here and these huge big daddies I don't even know what to do with them 
Um, in Halford today, I actually saw things you brought into the wall and the socket snapped onto them. So they stuck out. But I'm running out of wall space. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to put the equivalent over there. Again, as a spare set, so that it's got kind of one of everything, so that you, you can find the basics. Uh, you know, ultimately, that should be my go-to there or there to get the bits I need, and the best bits should go in there. So I should make sure all of my health advanced stuff is in there, nothing else. All the old kind of scrappy bits can stay somewhere else. So that's the plan. Um, so yeah, I'm getting a bit tired. I've been a, it's been a long day, but... It's extremely therapeutic as well, doing this. I really desperately want to get down here. But tomorrow, even though it's raining all day, with the light on, I can I can be in here doing bits, you know. Also, I was hoping the bins would be collected today so I can fill them up more. Uh, Alright, so hammering away.